from here, it shapes up as quite a race, but we've got plenty of other action on the program before that, so I guess it's time for me to bail out and join the boys at Trackside, where they're about to take off in the first event on today's program. Here's Neil Crompton. Thank you, Gary. Imagine Wilco landing the 747, arriving at gates two, three, four, five. Cars on the grid for our first event in our telecast this afternoon for the Motorcraft Laser Series. Had a good field of hard young charges in this one as well. In fact, we might have a look at the grid. And there is on pole position, car number 51, Jeff David in the laser, 78.15, alongside Mark Scaife from New South Wales, 78.27. On the second row of the grid, Shane Press, sharing the second row with Gavin James. The third row of the grid, Richard White and Graham Treasure. The fourth row of the grid, Rocco D'Angelo with Jeff Fickling. And the fifth row of the grid, Roderick Smith and Craig Joel. So 10 entrants in the Victorian Motorcraft Laser Series. And although the field is a little smaller than we're used to with some of the laser racing, it's nevertheless a quality field. And young Mark Scaife here in car number 12 has really been able to turn on some fireworks for us this year. And make no mistake, the driver of car 51, Jeff David, is a very hard charger. Well, as they move off on their warm-up lap, it will give us an opportunity to show you at home the extensions to the Calder Park uh, circuit. For those of you who have joined us in years gone by for our Touring Car Championship telecast, you'll note from this point on the track is altogether different. A little downhill run. Cars here, Neil. Uh, touring cars clocking uh, well and truly over uh, the 240 during practice um, on Friday. And we suspect they might go a little quicker today. It's a beautiful layout. They really have done a sensational job, Bob Jane and his hard-working people here at Calder Park Raceway. Lengthening the straight, the new right-hander, then the S's across the new hill. At last, there's some undulation in a Victorian racetrack. And then through the chicane, rejoining the old back straight, you can see the old Repco, as it was known, and then Valvoline Corner along the existing back straight, AGC back straight, and then they'll come up to the right-hander under brakes for the S's. They remain the way we knew them, although instead of turning further right just here immediately like they previously did they now go up to a new glow weave corner where the cars in fact turn right a little earlier than they previously did it's a very tight turn but then widens out as you can see the cars run a little wider they get on the power a lot earlier and then it's exactly one kilometer and there's the shot from the bottom of the straight from start to finish and we actually checked that when we came down to the circuit uh, late last week one kilometer long I can promise you some uh, great action, particularly from the sports sedans and the touring cars as they uh, get to the bottom. The other thing to point out, uh, as this is the first race on our telecast today, there's a huge crowd building up here at Calder, one of the biggest that we've seen here uh, in recent years. So it all goes well for a good turnout of folk for the Coca-Cola Bottlers Cup Classic, round seven of the Touring Car Championship, a little later in our telecast. We're just about set to go now with the Motocraft Laser Series. Flag. Lights turn to green and they are getting away quickly. Mark Scape got the best of that one, but look at the shuffle on behind Mark Scape. He moves across, trying to cover his tracks. Press going with him as they make their way down, halfway down the front straight. Gavin James in close company, Richard White in there as well. Just look at the action here as they all charge down to a right-hander that will allow one car through at a time. And here it comes. Looks like Shane Press got the better run and got through into second placing. Jeff David dropped back to, I think, now fourth placing. But Mark Scaife has come through very well through the S's. Listen to the tyre squealing as these little cars understeer their way to the top of the hill, plunge down the other side. Scaife through the chicane, followed by Press. Gavin James, the next man through in car number 16, and then car number 21, and that's Rocco D'Angelo, who came up a long way on the grid from seven. Out of the relatively uh, safe parts of the circuit, the more familiar parts of the circuit. Coming round through the S's up towards the new glow weave corner and then back onto the very, very long main straight. It must seem like an eternity in these cars to get from one end to the other. On Thursday, I stood at, in fact, Friday, I stood on the bottom of the straight and watched these little cars go through in practice. And I can tell you, they're really flying at the bottom. And Scape particularly was super brave under brakes. So Mark Scape leads. Car number 15 in second place, Shane Press, and then a healthy gap back to Gavin James in 16, and then Jeff David, the pole sitter, is back in fourth place. And look at Press. 
the advantage here of the slipstream will be quite uh, enormous considering the car's speeds and press up onto the outside but the scape has that corner covered very hot front brakes in those little lasers at the moment this is the tricky part of the circuit where there is in fact no curbing on the new part of the track as yet so if you go off here you stay off not only that there's big tractor tires on the inside at the moment if you go off in a laser the tire is just about bigger than the car you t-bone it well they took the tires away yesterday during the official qualifying, we put them back overnight when some of the drivers started uh, chopping the corners and they wound up with that new section of the track is almost a clay base. So the tyres are back today for the meeting. Scape though leads down the back straight in the Motocraft Laser Series. Good to see Ford through Motocraft supporting so many different categories of uh, motorsport in the Laser Series and of course the Formula Ford Drive of the Europe Series. <laughs> up on two wheels through there. Scape looking pretty sharp at uh, this stage of the race once again they come back onto the start finishing straight here at Calder Shane Press seems to be able to match it with him uh, down the straight it's on the tighter parts of the course that uh, the Scaife is in the ascendancy so Press pressing again and that is Scaife moving across here he's going to make Press do this all the way down the outside leave himself a little shy for the next turn and Bark's driving by his rear vision mirror at the moment not looking at the front at all just wants to make sure he doesn't get caught with a gap there on the inside at the end of the front straight. Because through here, as you can see, it's one lane. It's the same with the Tourers, make no mistake about that. And of course the Mondial. We up to Coca-Cola turn. It'll bring them up to the, uh, the Goodyear Hill. We're heading down now towards the chicane. Scape the leader, Press still in second. I don't think this scrap is over yet. Look at this gap from Shane Press and Mark Scaife back to third place. It's Gavin James in car 16 from Ballarat in Western Victoria. He ran very well at Sandown a couple of months ago when we were down for the Touring Car Championship meeting. From the pole marker, uh, Jeff David, car 51, back in fourth spot. Gavin's a relative newcomer to the sport. I spoke to him just prior to our telecast when they were down on the dummy grid. And he said that uh, whilst he's improving, he's still having trouble with traffic. And this fellow here, Jeff David, certainly had some strife with traffic because he dropped away from pole back to fourth. And we're now at half race distance. And Mark Scaife leading Shane Press, Gavin James and Jeff David. Scaife not under the same pressure from uh, Press as he had the last couple of laps. He's made a run down the outside. A little closer as they make their way into the right-hander here at Valvoline. If you know what I mean. Mark managed to get rid of Press out of the slipstream that time, but Press closing again under brakes. He's probably just in that unfortunate place on the road where he's copping a bit of the turbulent air from behind the laser. But now he's made up that ground again quite, quite well. I'm surprised how these two have cleared out considerably from the rest of the field, probably 100 metres or 150 metres back to third. Here's Press again. Escape is doing a lot of driving in his mirrors. point on which becomes quite interesting as Scaife tries to use the uh, the inside line down the long straight here to keep Press at bay. Well he's right on his tail now as they come out of glow weave this time and he's going to make another attempt you can bet. Yeah. We'll try and get it back to the inside as quickly as possible. Press desperately needs to get the inside running but I think he might be out, out fooled here as they run down to Valvoline. Mark's having a glance out the passenger's window again. He's doing all of that and looking forward. Boys having fun. Not quite sure whether that's exactly the tactic. But he's still in front in car number 12 and Press still working very hard behind. Press has had more gates shut on him in this race than a herd of cows. Oh, and Scape getting right to the edge of the road, cresting the top of the hill. Again, you can see he's glancing in his mirrors through the little chicane where they are absolutely flat strapped in the lasers. And I think, if anything, Gavin James is now a little closer to the two leading cars. Still, though, around about two or three seconds. Jeff David in fourth. Well, I think the only chance Shane Press has is to get this uh, glow weave corner right and come out as quickly as possible on the inside of Scape and then try and outdrag him down to the next turn. He's not going to do it on the outside. 
escape's not going to let him do it on the inside. They're just too well matched on their last lap now. It's not close enough this time. They'll pick up the pace, third and fourth. Gavin James going through, still third, and Jeff David. It's the area of the circuit down here still to be completed. One could almost term it as the call to forest. I think there's four trees there. Heading up the hill for the final time. Mark Scaife on the tyre town entry, number 12. Still leading from uh, Shane Press in number 15. Scaife actually extending his lead as they uh, head down AGC straight for the final time. I think he's uh, taken the heart out of Shane Press by the look of it. Once again, they head down to Yokohama from here into low weave turn. The right-hander that brings them back onto the uh, start finishing straight. I don't think there's any doubt about it at this stage as they come out of the last corner. Mark Scaife and the tyre town entry coming along the front straight and he in fact is going to take the chequered flag and he'll pick up the win. Shane Press will of course pick up second spot and Gavin James in the black laser will pick up third. So much for the Motorcraft Laser Series here at uh, Calder Park this afternoon, the domestic round. Let's check the placings on the Castrol scoreboard. Mark Scaife is your race winner. Shane Press takes second and James takes third.